Hey pretty girls! It has been so long that since I've done any sort of haul type video. I feel like my life has been completely consumed by all of the wedding preparations. It's nice to finally sit down with you guys and talk to you about all the cool things that I feel cool things. You know, maybe it's not your style, but it's my style. I think it's cool. And I got a lot of stuff. So this is a collective haul, which basically means that it was purchased over an extended period of time over a variety of different stores, <laughs> variety of different stores, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get into it. Actually, no, we're not because I'm missing a bag. Well done, Rachel. Hold on one second. Okay. Back. Ran all over the house collecting all my stuff for Bath and Body Works. It has been a while since I've gone to Bath and Body Works, I feel, and I was going there to kind of check out all their new kind of summery smells and things like that, and to be quite honest, I wasn't overly impressed. They all kind of smelled like sunscreen, in my opinion. I don't know what's going on there. I did pick up a bunch of things, so one thing, uh, before we left on our honeymoon, I made note of the fact that we pretty much ran out of soap. There was no soap in the house, so I picked up six of these foaming soaps that are also antibacterial. Chris did actually come with me, I know, crazy, right? But he did pick out, the only one he picked out was the uh, Fresh Picked Pears, because he loves pears. So he picked up that one and I pretty much picked out the rest. Um, I got the Vanilla Berry Sorbet, California Poppy, which is in my bathroom right now, Caribbean Escape. I also have the candle for this and also the car air freshener as well because I freaking love this one. It's really kind of fruity, coconutty without being too like sweet pina colada y. Malibu Citrus was the other one and then a Raspberry Pink Peony. So lots of soap, lots of variety to choose from there, and I absolutely love them. And I also got two candles because they were having their typical two for, I think it's two for 30, because in the Canada for some reason it's $5 more than everywhere else, which is so unfair, so unfair. I got the aromatherapy stuff. I haven't seen this before, but again, I haven't been in Bath and Body Works for forever. And this is their Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. I don't know what this scent reminds me of, to be quite honest, but, oh dear, hello. It's supposed to have um, the eucalyptus essential oils to clear the mind, and then the spearmint essential oils to up uplift. So, I don't know, I figured this was probably a good thing for me because I'm quite prone to be uh, anxious and stressed at all times. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but I am always in some form of stress mode, which isn't good good for you at all, and I'm really trying to work on it. When I first got in and brought it home, I only lit two of them, and it filled up the entire room with scent, like, immediately. So that's something to note. It is quite fragrant, just as an FYI, and it smells really, really nice. I do enjoy it. Even when it's not lit, I'll just kind of leave it out, and you can kind of catch kind of whiffs of it as you walk by, which is really nice. And then the other one that I got was the island, oh dear, dropping soap all over the place. The island margarita. Um, oh my gosh, it smells a lot fruitier than like a typical margarita, which would I would assume would smell really kind of limey and citrusy, but um, this one's a lot more tropical feeling to it and I have it um, beside the bed and it just smells phenomenal ever so often. I'll be in bed reading and I'll catch a smell, like a whiff of it and I'm like, what on earth is that? Oh yeah, that's my candle, right. So that is all of the Bath and Body Works stuff. I also got a ton of, not a ton, I got a ton, <laughs> not a ton, a ton. Okay, Rachel, learn to talk. I got some nail polishy stuff and a couple of lipsticks as well, which I'll kind of go through. The first thing that I got was the Pro Effects uh, Protein Enriched Base Coat and Revitalizer. I got this from Walmart. It's kind of, it's a huge bottle. And this is a base coat. It doesn't have any DP, DBP and uh, formaldehyde, or no, toline. It probably has formaldehyde. Great. It is supposed to strengthen the nails, revitalize weak nails with keratin, ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba, and uh, soy proteins, which is fantastic because my nails are really, really brittle and they're constantly kind of like tear, like shredding almost, which is really gross, but they do. I also got a couple of different nail polishes. Oh, dropping nail polishes all over the place. One that I got from Shoppers Drug Mart, it is by, it's called Oh My Gosh, and I've never heard of it before. It's a tiny, tiny little bottle. Well, not really tiny, but tiny enough. This was $4, 
And this color is sort of in Nude Champagne, which I have on my nails right now, which is sort of like a gray purple kind of putty kind of shade. The color payoff is phenomenal. And the brush is a little too thin for my liking, but um, it doesn't any it doesn't streak or anything, which is fantastic. It kind of glosses over and creates a really smooth coat. And I have only one coat on, which is fantastic, and that's really hard to find in any sort of really pale polishes. So if you find these at your store, um, try one and let me know if there's any other colors out there that you really like because this was really great. And then I picked up three nail polishes from Zayers uh, for those of you that aren't. From Canada, uh, Zares is like a just like a grocery store kind of thing, and they carry Joe Fresh. Joe Fresh is a brand that's part of President's Choice, and they have really really cheap makeup. And I saw that their nail polishes were on for I think three for ten, I believe is what the deal is, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, I had to go and try out a whole bunch of them. So um, I'm not sure if they have names. Do they have names? They do. This is Ballet Slipper, which is this kind of frosted, super, super pale pink. I also got Oyster, which is this beautiful sort of luminescent gray purple, which looks stunning on the nails. This looks just phenomenal. I've gotten so many compliments from this color. I thought it was going to be too light and I would have to wear it almost like a top coat, but it's actually really, really pigmented and you can wear it just alone on your nails. And then the last color I got was... Fleo Blue. Flu? Flu Blue? I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I think it's... It's F-L-U-O. Fluo Blue? I don't know. I don't know if this is referring to something, but anyway. It's this really, really bright, bright blue, so I'm super excited to wear this one because I think it's going to look fantastic on the nails. Um, and I've kind of, I've just tested them, each of them out on like one nail just to kind of get a sense of the color and see if I had to return any that I didn't really like. But I like all of them. Um, I'm really quite impressed with the color payoff actually with these products. Uh, it's really great. They really look phenomenal on the nails and they're cheap. Three for ten, that's like one OPI nail polish, which is crazy. They're a little bit smaller, but I kind of like them that way. I like having a lot of variety in my nail polishes and I never seem to finish off a bottle and I'm not sure many people actually do unless it's like a classic red or a pale pink or something like that. So it's really nice that I don't have to spend a lot of money to get like a fun kind of trendy color like this. And then last but not least on the whole makeup front, I got three different Wet n Wild lipsticks. And I can't remember where I heard this from. I think I was watching Style Haul actually, and somebody had mentioned um, these lipsticks as being really pigmented and moisturizing and everything, and they're super, super cheap. So I had to go and pick out a couple, and I have to say I completely agree. They are so good. I'm really impressed actually with these different colors. I wish they had cool names. Unfortunately, they don't. They just have numbers, which ugh, I hate that. I hate when companies do that. But anyway, I got this super bright fuchsia, which I have on my lips right now. This is in 521A. It's really pretty, super pigmented. Um, a lot of great color payoff and really moisturizing too. The other two colors that I got, I got the 519A, which is a bright sort of uh, cool toned red and I also got 528A which is a sort of a blush tone pink. It's a little bit pinker than my natural skin or lip tone, lip tone, lip color. I'm probably going to go out and pick up pick a couple of more because they are awesome. And now on to the clothes. I went shopping with my lovely sister-in-law Lauren uh, yesterday? No, two days ago. We went to the mall. I actually ran into a subscriber, Bailey, at the mall, which was really, really cool. So hi, Bailey. Um, it was really nice meeting you. She had the most fabulous blazer on ever. It was so pretty, like this mauvey, dusty rose is awesome. But anyway, I think we're organized now. All right, so I'll start with the clothes I got from Forever 21. We spent, I'm not even kidding you, two hours in Forever 21. Two hours in Forever 21. Who spends the two hours in Forever 21? No, what am I talking about? Everyone spends two hours in Forever 21. I got a bunch of different things. I actually, tr I think I tried on like 18 different things and I came away with like four pieces of clothing. So um, good for my wallet, I guess. The first item that I got is this gorgeous sort of a silky cardigan, which has this beautiful floral print on it. It's got this kind of taupes and mauves and um, kind of fuchsia tones to it. 
and it'll look really really cute with either you could either pick up the colors that are kind of in the flower you could do kind of a nude uh, cami underneath or you could even do like a black or I'd even do like a blue even I think that would look kind of cool but anyway this will look really really good with jeans with shorts with leggings it's super versatile really light and airy and flowy and I'm really really excited to wear that <laughs> This next shirt I brought home when I was showing Chris and he's like, oh my gosh, that's completely and totally you. I'm like, I know, right? It is this sort of uh, nude colored shirt with a super cute kind of scalloped uh, detail in the collar there. I love sort of this gold zipper in the back that goes down a little bit, but it's really, obviously it's very sheer, so you'd have to wear kind of a cami underneath it, but I love sort of the the little details in it, it's super simple, super sweet. You could either do something like, I would probably pair this with my mint jeans that I have. They're like a light mint from Guess. Or I would do kind of um, go really super matchy matchy girly kind of with the pearls and then like a an A-line skirt or something like that. I think it'd be really cute. Um, but this is so freaking adorable. And then the last uh, article of clothing, clothing, last article of clothing that I got from Forever 21 is this dress, and I love this color, guys. It's this beautiful sort of emerald green, and oh my gosh, I love, 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 love it. It's almost got sort of a, a loose kind of gauzy feeling to it. So it is lined entirely, so it does have sort of a green lining underneath it. Really light and loose and airy and elegant, and oh my gosh, I love this. I actually got a pair of earrings that are going to look phenomenal with this dress, um, but I just, I'm so obsessed with it, and it looks really, really, really like just pretty and girly. Then I got some jewelry, obviously, because I'm obsessed with jewelry. I got another pair of sunglasses. I find I have like probably six pairs now, it's ridiculous. But these are amazing sort of uh, aviators. They're kind of a rosy gold shade. Uh, super, super flattering fit. Both Lauren and I got them actually. They're really cute and seven dollars. Got this necklace here, super cute. I don't know how else to explain it. It's got all these little like pretty sparkly details. I don't know. It's cute. I really like it. These earrings to go with the beautiful green dress. They're sort of, they're over the top. I know, but they're so cute, right? Like, look at those. Fabulous. I also got this hat. I've never owned a hat like this before, so kind of interested to see how I'm going to end up styling it, but um, it's fun. That is all I got from Forever 21, and then I went to H&M and I picked up this dress. I love this dress. Lauren loves this dress, and it's one of those shirt dresses in this super bright, bright blue, sort of a pastel tone. Uh, the I don't know what the material is on the collar and on the back, but it's uh, almost see-through, but it's got kind of a shimmer undertone to it. But the back is completely see-through. Like, see that? So I'm going to have to wear, I don't know, I'm either going to have to wear like a nude cami or like one of those like stick-on bras or something like that with it. But it's so pretty and flowy and summery and cute and I'm so excited to wear it because it's just adorable. So that is the entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you have any haul videos, link them below or um, do some sort of video response or something like that. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see them. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing really well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will talk to you all soon with a lot of new videos coming up and I will talk to you all soon. Love you girls so, so much. Mwah.